Hey everybody, Joe Rignola here, and I'm back with part two in this series of videos that uh, I'm just using to sort of demonstrate how connected everything is in the body. Talked in the first video about insulin and glucose and how insulin helps glucose get into cell into the cell where it's used for energy and any excess energy that we that we uh, take into the body gets stored as fat tissue so in this video i'm going to talk about how that fat tissue can actually affect your brain so for for a while we thought that that fat tissue was simply just storage it didn't serve any other function but we now know uh, that that fat tissue serve, does serve some very important functions one of them is to produce a hormone called leptin and leptin's job is to one of the jobs that leptin does is to communicate with the brain a part of the brain called the hypothalamus so uh, leptin will talk to the hypothalamus and tell uh, the hypothalamus that storage is okay the fat storage we've got just enough fat storage um, and that nutrient intake is fine and that you can stop eating now for at least for a while so that's that's that satiety signal that you're that your body gets uh, when you're done with a meal or at least that's how it's supposed to work but just like we can become insulin resistant we can become leptin resistant so how how are some of the ways we can become leptin resistant well very similar to how we could become insulin resistant inflammation is one of the biggest factors inflammation does a really good job at blocking that signal to the brain telling us that nutrient status is good fat storage is good and that we can stop eating for a while um, another one is, or again, what I talked about with insulin, if there's too much of a hormone, the receptor for that hormone will downregulate in order to keep things balanced. So again, it's like leptin will be knocking on the door, uh, but the hypothalamus, the cells don't answer that because it's just, there's just too much leptin. And, um, so that's how, that's how the body regulates things like that. From there, what happens next is that the brain is going to communicate with the thyroid. Again, if things are working, uh, functioning properly, and that leptin signal is getting through, then the brain is going to communicate with the thyroid and say, hey, nutrient status is good, fat storage is good, let's ramp up the metabolism. But if that leptin signal is going to be blocked by inflammation or too much leptin or any other uh, number of, of other reasons, then that signal is not going to get to the thyroid, and the thyroid is going to slow down, or it's going to slow down your metabolism. So the situation just got a little bit worse, because now our metabolism is slow, we're leptin resistant, we keep eating, we're insulin resistant, we, we're storing more fat than we need. And this, this keeps going and going and going. So I think I'm going to cut this video off here, but in the next video I'm going to talk about how that can affect things like your hormones and your liver and your cholesterol. So stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you soon.